Welcome back to On The Beat, everyone. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today in the studio, we have two of our favorite guests from Gastroenterology Associates, Dr. Ricky Johnston and Dr. William Gillespie. The last time we talked about colonoscopies, and today we're gonna to learn about some alternatives for colon cancer screenings. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to, good to see you. Okay, besides the colonoscopy, tell us about some alternative screening options for colon cancer. Well, there's been a few different ones throughout the years. Um, there were CTs and blood tests and things like that, but the only ones that are really approved right now and recommended are uh, stool-based testing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two of them. One is a FIT test and one is a Cologuard. Okay. What are the advantages of those? Yeah, well, there you don't have to do the prep is probably uh, oh. the, the big one for most people. Gotcha. Um, uh, so, so convenience, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for not having to take off from work and go through the prep process and, you know, come in for an appointment and all that. You can do it kind of at the, you know, privacy of your own home. So those are probably some of the advantages. Also, you can do them more frequently. Uh, colonoscopies we generally do every three to five years. If you've had polyps, maybe every 10 years. If you don't, those other tests are done a little bit more frequently. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, some people find them more palatable, I guess, or acceptable. What about disadvantages to those types of screenings? Well, they're, pro they're not as effective as the biggest one. So, uh, you know, Cologuard, and for instance, we can talk some more about it a little bit later, it's, it's, it's uh, sensitivity for fine colon cancer is much lower than us doing a colonoscopy. Um, you have false positives too, mm -hmm. so which means if you have a, you may have a positive test that shows up on the stool test and then you come for a colonoscopy which turns out to be negative. Uh, so that's a, a disadvantage as well. But I think the biggest one is just they're not as, they don't work as well. I got you. Yeah. And another important point is that not, none of these are preventative. Mm -hmm. you know, colonoscopies a good point. Uh, prevent colon cancer because right. you're removing the polyp so you never get colon cancer. Whereas these tests are detecting something that's already, already there, there, at which point it, you know, it may be um, pretty late in the in stage. And also Excellent. if you have a positive result from one of those tests, Guess what? You're still going to have to have a colonoscopy, right? <laughs> exactly. So that's, yeah, probably just go ahead and get that done. That's and, our thinking. And the preventative is so important, like you said. So the Cologuard, I see it on TV all the time. Tell me more about it. It's a, what's called a stool-based DNA test. Mm -hmm. So some of the older stool testing was based on trying to detect uh, microscopic amounts of blood in mm -hmm. your stool, and then that might prompt a further evaluation with a colonoscopy. Well, the Cologuard's a newer technology that actually looks for DNA in your stool that's being shed either by cancer or by advanced polyps. So, you know, again, you can do it in your home, but, you know, you have to collect a a whole bowel movement basically sure. you have to do some mixing with the solution they send you and you mail it back in to their facilities to have it tested and then if it comes back positive then you would come have a colonoscopy do y'all ever recommend that to a patient i mean there are certain patients where uh you know maybe they can't undergo a colonoscopy mm -hmm. maybe they have their, they have too many other medical problems to be sure. put to sleep there's a lot of patients where stool-based testing is preferable over uh, colonoscopy um but if you're willing and able to get a colonoscopy, it's, um, you know, like we said, it's the only preventative test mm -hmm. um, and it's the best test for detecting these things. And colon cancer is entirely preventable as long as we do the appropriate screening. Um, so, you know, there are certain patients that, that we would recommend those tests in, um, although, you know, colonoscopy is the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one important thing, if you do have any sort of risk factors for colon cancer, like family history, mm -hmm. uh, you should get a colonoscopy and not one of these uh, stool-based tests because you have a higher risk of colon cancer, higher risk of polyps and all of those things and these stool tests are not, not really indicated. Uh, enough and also that. if you're having symptoms too, if you're having any symptoms at all, Cologuard's really not an appropriate we option. That That's, we wanted to talk about that a little bit today because we've seen a lot of patients come into our office these days who are either asking about it or they've had mm -hmm. it done and maybe for some of these reasons that we just talked about, probably not the best choice. Right, right. Yeah. Sounds like it. Sounds like prevention is key. Mm -hmm. Starting early, I think the new age is 45, Correct. right? Yes. So we need to come in, stay on that track for preventative medicine and not try to put a Band-Aid on something that's too late to right. treat. If you guys want to know more about colonoscopies, treatment options, and get in the care of these good doctors, everything's up on the screen to contact their office to make your appointment. They're going to take great care of you. And we'll be back right after this short break.